Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, we are still on my bed. This is my packing series. So we're on my comfortable bed. I'm trying out the new Rihanna lipstick. I need some, I need some lighter colors because this dark one's having a hard time. But regardless, this video is a what's in my carry on bag. I used to be the kind of girl who would literally have a knapsack and a purse on the airplane. And then like I would be in pain trying to carry it. I would get so overwhelmed. My body would ache by the time I arrived. So I have really pared it down and I travel a lot. I'm lucky in that sense. And I've been going on planes since I was very, very young. So I have a very good grasp of what and what you shouldn't bring in your carry on. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in then just keep watching this video. So I'm going to Mexico and this is my carry on. Um, it's not a long haul flight. Um, that's might be a little bit different. I know people like to bring like a change of clothes or face masks, but this flight is about five hours and we actually have a connecting flight. So it's like two and a half hours we stop and then two and a half hours and we stop. So it's not a lot of time in the air. So it's more just about having things to do to occupy my time. So like I said, I used to carry like a handheld like pretty one, but honestly, I just prefer a knapsack. This one is from Lululemon. They don't sell this style exact like color anymore, but they do sell backpacks and I love their backpacks because they have tons of like hidden compartments that are so genius. Like place for your cell phone, for your sunglasses, for your water bottle, for your yoga mat, like a hidden compartment. Like they just make really, really good knapsacks and they're nice and large and open and they have like a padded spot for your laptop. You can unzip it to get into it. There's just like enough pockets. So I like a knapsack because I want my hands free. I just want to carry it and be done with it. So that is what I use. Maybe I can afford a Louis Vuitton knapsack one day. Oops, I shouldn't throw that. Okay, I mean, obviously, first thing is my cell phone. If you leave without it, you're probably turning the cab around to go back and get it. So I just have my cell phone. I don't like to bring my whole wallet. So I have this little one, and I actually want on my wish list is like a nice version of this, just like a tiny little like card wallet. I don't have anything in it right now because I'm, I still have a couple days before I leave. So I'll fill this up after, but. This is my big wallet. I don't want to take that, so I just transfer the cards that I will need. Like, I don't need my Sephora card and everything like that. So I just take this little wallet that you can just put, like, your ID and, like, debit card and credit card and some cash in there. Obviously, I carry my passport. Should I zoom in on my passport photo? No, there's too much information on there. Um, I just got a renewal, so I'm good to go with my Canadian passports. You obviously need that. It's funny, I have this thing, and again, I need an updated one of this. Uh, maybe Boxing Day sales, I'll look. But I got this from Danier uh, Leather, and it's a passport holder. It used to be helpful because they have a, a pouch for your cell phone. But that's like back in the days, like when people had like little Blackberries or like little flip phones. Like I don't think my phone would even fit in here. I mean, I could keep it like that, actually. Just like have it open. So there is a spot for your cell phone. There's a spot for your pen, which is another thing. I always bring a pen. I highly recommend it, especially if you're traveling to a different country. You will have to fill out forms of some kind. And then you can put cards in here, and you can also put your passport in there as well. So let's do that. So I just put my passport in there and then, so you don't really need this little wallet. You can put all your cards in here, but again, when you are when you get to your destination, you don't wanna carry this whole thing, so you can kinda of switch your cards into this little guy. So I might just put that one in my suitcase because you can put your cards here, like I have my points card, you can put your credit cards, you have your passport, and then in the front, um, you can put your ID, so you can usually just, you know, show someone. You can put your boarding passes in here. So I do like this kit. I just wish my phone would fit and I'm sure they have an updated one because this one was very old. Um, so I should go looking for a new one because I love a pouch where you can carry all your documents in one and then I kind of just like hold this instead of like going in and out of my backpack every single time. It's a lot easier just to carry this one. Headphones, headphones. Last year I got the Beats by Dre mm, 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 in the rose gold. 
These are my favorite. Um, these are wireless, but in, if you want to listen to the airplane movie, they do come with a cord that you can plug in. So I bring these. These are not noise canceling, but they're pretty good. I actually don't like noise canceling headphones. I know a lot of people do for flights because it like blocks out the sound of the airplane engine going like that whole time. See what I just did there? Um, but those give me a headache. So I like these ones because they cover my ears. They're not going to like hurt my ears if you're like trying to sleep or anything like that. So I do like those. One thing I always have on my keychain is this little thing. And it's part of my keychain. And you pull it open and it is a headphone splitter. So you plug that in to the airplane or your iPad or your phone. And then you can put two sets of headphones in it. So I keep this on my keychain at all times because my boyfriend and I like to watch the same show. We romantic like that. So that's on there. I do also have just like my Apple headphones. Um, I don't really know. I'm just going to keep these in here. My boyfriend will likely forget his headphones. So I just also want like a small pair if I don't want to wear like my big pair. They're a little bit more like incognito. So I do have those. I have a charger for my iPhone and my iPad. And I got this little... Um, wrap somewhere. I will try to link it down below because it's definitely very handy to like keep it all neat and tidy. So you definitely don't want to forget your charger. I have my new iPad Pro. I love this thing. I worship this thing. Um, it's my favorite. So I'm definitely bringing this because it's powerful enough. I can edit photos on here that I take in Mexico. Um, you probably could edit YouTube videos on here, but I don't know if it has that much power. Um, but I can answer emails, I can keep up with Instagram, and I can also watch Netflix on here. So that's amazing that Netflix now has the option where you can download shows. So if you're on the plane, there's no internet connection, you can watch stuff on here. So I'm just gonna load up. I'm not bringing my laptop because I'm gonna pre-edit everything. So this is just for uh, entertainment. I have a book, and of course the book I'm reading like has to be the biggest, thickest, heaviest book because like, why can't I have like a little pocket book that I'm reading currently? Um, I'm obsessed with Outlander. I have seen every single show, like episode every season. It is my favorite. I've read the first book and this is the second book. So even though I've seen the show, I'm still reading the book anyways because there's a lot more detail in the book, obviously. So this is called Dragonfly in Amber. This is the second of the series. If you haven't seen and or Red Outlander. I highly recommend it. It is so wonderful and Jamie Fraser is a hunk of burning love. So I have this ginormous book. I have my bullet journal um, just in case I get creatively inspired and I need to jot something down. I do like having a notebook with me. I have a candy bar. I always bring snacks and I already like I've already pre-packaged this candy bar. So I'm ready for that. Ready. Mints. I'll probably get some gum. I don't like gum on like an everyday basis, but I probably will get some gum in the airport, but I do also have mints because no one wants sanky breath when you land. I have a pair of sunglasses. Um, I might pack another pair in like my actual suitcase, but I have my Ray-Bans. These are my absolute favorite. They like reflect hot pink, so I love those. So those are in my carry-on for arrival. For arrival. I am bringing my little camera my Canon G7X because this is what I take photos on for Instagram I might vlog the trip as well so I don't trust this in my suitcase so I'm putting this in my knapsack and then also the charger for that then I carry this little bag and I'm definitely like the mom um of the trip because like my boyfriend's like oh I have a headache oh I don't feel so I'm like I have it I have everything you could ever need so this is a Glossier pouch if you order from Glossier they give you these which I just love um so let's see what's in this little guy. This is a Kopari coconut balm. It's basically just like in a tube. It's just coconut oil, but it's like condensed. I don't know. It's just in a tube form basically, but it is just solid coconut oil. So you can put this ish everywhere. I have Mac Fix Plus because planes are so incredibly dry. And so I literally spray this on my face pretty much the entire flight. I have hair ties. My favorite ones are these little ones that look like uh, telephone cords. I have two of those. Eye drops. Goes that same. Hand sanitizer, goes without saying. I shouldn't throw these things. I have lip balm, this is the Sephora coconut lip balm, I've been loving this stuff. Polysporn, because you don't want to get an infection. Band-Aids, goes with the infection part. I don't know why I'm bringing this, but I'm bringing this. This is nasal spray, 
literally if I get a cold, I'll be so miserable. So I need this just to like get through the day. I hope I don't get a cold, but if I do, or if anyone on my trip does, like I'll be your best friend. Oh, I always get bug bites when I go away in Mexico. Always, I get like, sand flea bites, like I get heat rash, I get everything. So this is Bud Blah, Benadryl Bug Bite Relief. It's just like a stick. I always get mosquito bites and I am so allergic. Like I know everyone's allergic to mosquito bites, but like mine go to like the size of my head. I have the Glycomed Mini Hand Cream. Again, flights are so dry. Always gonna put on hand cream. Reactin in case you have an allergic reaction to something, mostly my boyfriend. Extra strength gravel in case you get seasick. Again, if I get a cold, I have Tylenol night times so that I can sleep. Again, you probably can buy all this stuff once you're down there, but it's expensive. Another Band-Aid. I stole these from a hotel. <laughs> They're like a little pack of cotton swabs and a little emery board and manicure stick. I didn't steal them. You're allowed to take them from hotels. They're there for your use. Jeez. Don't at me on this. Contact lenses because I usually wear my glasses on the flight and then I change into my contact lenses when I get there. And last but not least, I have this mini, it's so cute, um, Nest Black Tulip perfume because this is one of my faves. Ooh, it's like fruity and fun, so perfect for Mexico. So that all went in here. Couple more things, I have Advil. I get crazy headaches, crazy migraines, so I need a big thing of Advil. This is from Clinique. And it's so old. It like is a little thing and it flips out. Actually, there's so much hair on it. It's a hairbrush and a mirror and I love it. It just pops out. You can get these anywhere. I think Sephora sells them, but I just love having this in my bag at all times to brush out my crazy hair. We're almost at the end. A couple makeup things. I do keep the Blotterazzi. I like this thing. It basically is a flat beauty blender and you use this to sop up any oil. It's like a reusable um, blotting sheet. I actually do find they work really well, so I like this. I have my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact, so just to put some powder on or some like foundation if I'm feeling sassy. I carry mascara just in case like I wanna add some or like freshen up a little bit when I get off the flight. And I have my Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in Mystic. Um, just one of my go-to everyday nude lipsticks. And then I also brought the Bite Beauty Multi-Stick in the shade Cashew. This is again a multi-stick, so you can put it on your cheeks, give you some color, you can put it on your lips, and you can put it on your eyes. So I don't really, maybe I might put it in a concealer, but I don't really care. Like this is pretty much enough makeup for me to arrive in my spot. I basically just need powder, mascara, and lipstick. So I've got that covered. Maybe I'll add in a concealer. And that's everything, is that everything? I'm probably forgetting something like very important, but I can't think of it. So that was everything. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you found it helpful at all, give it a thumbs up. Leave in the comments down below if I'm missing something for my carry-on. If you're like, Brittany, how can you live without a neck pillow? I know I never travel with those. I do need like a blanket, like scarf type thing that's like a cotton one. I lost mine. Sadly, so I might go looking for one of those in the next couple days, but that is everything that I personally pack and yeah I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye